Hi, Flynn Morley. Guess who? Oh, I loved all the pictures you sent me. They were totally amazing. The whole bathtub thing was just great. Look, no snow. Yay! So, I saw you had a nice trip. I hope you enjoyed yourself at Easter. That's wonderful. I miss you. Anyway, what's today? Today is... Dum -da -da. Winnie and Wilbur, Winnie the Witch. This is another witch story. Not the same as the robot one, but just as good, I hope. So let's have a look. Ooh, her kitty cat there making a potion. Ooh, be kind, it says. Always be kind, Flynn. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside, black on the inside, the carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black, and it had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bath was black. Oh, she likes that color. Oh, what's going on now? Winnie lived in her black house with her cat Wilbur. He was black too. And that is how the trouble began. Well, woo. When Wilbur sat on a chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyway, but when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she has to sit on him. Ow! Oh, that's not good. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him, his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she oh, tripped over him. Oh no, no, poor Winnie and poor Kitty. Oh, one day after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand, waved it once, abracadabra, and Wilbur was bright green. Oh, wow. Wow, that changed things. That's so cool. Oh, now when Wilbur slept on a chair, Winnie could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. And she could see him when he slept on the bed. But Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. My cat can't sleep on the bed. I, I heard yours can. That's nice. <gasps> Winnie came hurrying outside, tripped over Wilbur, turned three somersaults and fell in a rose bush. Oh, I wonder why that is. So Winnie put him outside, outside in the grass. When Wilbur sat up in the grass, Winnie couldn't see him, even when his eyes were open. That's a problem. That's a big, oh, she's gonna fall again. Whoop. This time Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand, waved it five times and said, Abracadabra. Yep. Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, pink tail, blue whiskers, and four purple legs, but his eyes were still green. Now Winnie could see Wilbur when he sat on the chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled in the grass, and even when he climbed to the top of the tallest tree. Oh, yeah. I can't see him. Can you, Flynn Morley? Oh, well. Oh. Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous, and he knew it. But the birds all laughed at him. Oh, that's not nice. Ha, 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 ha. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed up at the top of the tree all night and all day. Next morning, Wilbur was still up in the tree. Winnie was worried. She really loved Wilbur and didn't like to see him sad, miserable, didn't like it at all. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand. Abracadabra. Oh, Wilbur was black again. And he came down from the tree purring. Then Winnie waved her wand again. Abracadabra. Oh, I wonder what happened. I wonder what she did. Let's see. Oh, wow. Now, instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof, a red door. Chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. Well, that's certainly a good idea. It's good for Wilbur. The bed was blue and pink and the sheets were pink blankets. The bath was gleaming white. And now she could see Wilbur no matter where he sat. Where is Wilbur? That would be a good book. Oh, there he is. Ha ah, found him. That's a nice house. I do like that. I wish I could live in a house like that. What do you think, Flynn Morley? Oh, the end.